Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and you're watching a recipe demo of kimchi vegetable soup. This is a non-recipe recipe, meaning there's no set amounts of each ingredient, just suggestions. The original source is from bonappetit.com, and it suggests using these ingredients for the soup. Brussels sprouts, garlic, ginger, scallions, kimchi of course, pearl onions, rice noodles, maybe a poached egg, and maybe kale if that's your thing. I'll include the amounts I used at cookingcompanionTV.com along with the link to the Bon Appetit article. Let's start by chopping the scallions, which will be a garnish at the end, but they are the quickest to clean and chop, so let's get them out of the way. Then we'll peel a hearty knob of ginger. Using a spoon to scrape it off is quick and oddly satisfying. I feel like I could watch hours of ginger being peeled. And then set it aside. We will grate this later, which is a huge pain, but it really is the best way to cook with ginger. I tackle the pearl onions next. You can chop them in half or throw them in whole or just use half a regular onion. Here's where you make your choice of what you like. I shouldn't have used pearl onions. I don't like them in my boeuf bourguignon. Why would I like them here? That said, I'm using frozen ones because they are already peeled and I definitely did not want to have to peel a bunch of tiny onions. Next, the Brussels sprouts. They need to be cleaned and halved or quartered. Now to clean, I remove the bottom stump and then peel off the outer dirty layers. Now we'll cook. Melt some coconut oil in a Dutch oven over medium heat. I'm using a tablespoon here. And place the Brussels sprouts face down and add the onions. Cook them together until they have a caramelized face. In the meantime, you'll grate your ginger. This is one of those things you can customize to your liking. You can grate some now and add more to taste later in the cooking process and grate a bulb or two of garlic. Not a clove, a bulb, so maybe a dozen or so cloves, or not, however much you like. This can take a while, so keep an eye on your caramelizing sprouts and onions. Then add your grated ginger and garlic and stir in for about 30 seconds. And then add stock. You can use chicken or beef or vegetable, winner's choice, and how much is also up to you. I'm using only four cups here for a thick, chunky soup. If you like really brothy soups, use up to one and a half quarts, which is six cups. Now let that come to a gentle simmer. And roughly chop about a cup of kimchi. When the Brussels sprouts are tender, stir in the kimchi and a couple tablespoons of kimchi juice. Let it continue simmering while you poach an egg and cook the rice noodles per the directions on the package. To poach the perfect egg, strain out the loose whites before placing it in simmering, not boiling, water. For a full demo on poaching eggs, search my channel or click on the video card in the upper right hand corner. And finally, prep whatever vegetable you'd like to top your soup with. This will be any vegetable you like to eat raw. A couple obvious choices would be kale and sliced radish. The vegetable will wilt slightly in the hot broth once it's placed in the bowl. Now a tip with kale is to cut and store it dirty and clean it right before you use it. That helps keep the greens fresh, although kale is always best eaten within a day or two of harvesting. There's a fair amount of prep involved, but the good news is you decide how much you want to do here. Now place your cooked rice in the bottom of a bowl, pouring the soup on top followed by the raw vegetable and the poached egg. And don't forget those scallions we chopped. You can add a dash of soy sauce or togarashi or more kimchi or hot sauce. It's your bowl. The broth and the vegetables can be frozen for future use. Again, the directions are available at cookingcompanionTV.com, but really this demo is about letting your preferences drive the recipe, not the other way around. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.